Have you ever wondered how to use those green screen overlays that you see all the YouTubers use? I'm gonna show you how to use that today. What's up guys, TJ here with another TJ tutorial video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new content. So today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video. Well, I'll say it's quick, but I think it's about 15 minutes long. But I'm gonna be showing you how to use the uh, green screen overlays that some of the uh, YouTubers have been using. So what I'm talking about is like, you know, you'll see like a subscribe button or you'll see like another subscribe button we can click on it or different transitions and things like that. And if you don't have like expensive software, editing, video editing software, it can be a little bit cumbersome to find uh, these different transitions and these different um, accents and overlays and things like that. But you can find them here on YouTube. However, you do have to remove the green screen from the background. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you a couple little tips and tricks that I use whenever I use these overlays. So I'm going to be doing all of this in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. So it may be a little bit different uh, on whatever video editing software that you use. So let's jump right into the video guys. Okay, we're going to start this by getting all of our footage that we're going to need inside of this little box. Now we are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. So of course on your editing software, it may be a little bit different. Uh, let's see. So this is my main clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that over here to the timeline. All right, and it's that's just a minute long, so that's good. So what I want to do is I want to add like the subscribe button with the green screen behind it. Now, these uh, I will leave a link to the playlist that has a lot of these green screens in them. But you can just um, do a YouTube search for them and go through them and find the ones that you like the best. Okay, I've added all the ones that I normally would use, so we'll kind of go through these. Now, mind you, whenever you use these uh, green screens that other YouTubers have made, make sure that you give credit for uh, using those files. You know, if you if you made something, you want to make sure that that you know people use they use their files, give credit. So this is the one that I like to use uh, on some of my videos. So this is just a little bit of uh, a small subscribe flag. This is a small subscribe flag. It pops up kind of down in the bottom it wiggles and it makes like a little almost like a you don't hear the ding but it looks like you could put a ding there so what i normally do is i'll double click my file and bring it up into this little small screen and then i can find out where i want to cut it so i'll push this mark in i'll play it and i'll stop it there and i'll put my mark out so now when i drag and drop this over my uh video it'll only bring in that portion of it so let's go over here to where that comes in it so we'll play all right so now what you can see is the green screen covers the entire uh video so we want to take that green screen out so let's go back to where it's in front of it now up here and this is on adobe premiere pro, pro cc 2017 you're going to use the ultra key you're gonna click on click it and you're gonna drag it over here to your file all right now we're gonna click on it you're gonna click this little dilly dally here you're gonna get to your effects control then you have to click on it again and then right here is going to be your ultra key effect now this ultra key you can do uh, a bunch of different things for it if you have an absolute green screen like we do right here it's going to be pretty easy to do if you are recording with the green screen behind you, you have to make sure that you brighten it up to where the light is over it evenly, kind of like how this is, and you'll be able to, you know, do the easy way. If not, you will have to mess with some of the settings, some of the matte generation, the matte cleanup, the spill suppression, and the color correction to get all of the green screen out or whatever color screen that you're using. Um, the reason that people use green screen is because the green screen is the easiest to remove. So, um, I you know, I filmed behind a white screen one time and I thought, you know, this is going to be great. Cool. Well, it was great to set my teeth to really white. So whenever I took the white out, my teeth were gone, you know. So you just want to stick to a green screen if you can. So the next thing that you'll have to do is you have to click this key color, this little dropper here. You're going to drop it right there. Boom. It's gone. Just that easy. So we'll look at it. All 
All right, so that's cool. Now, what I like to do here is let me turn my sound on so you can hear. You see, when they come out like that, when they get to the outermost part, I add in a little ding there. My ding, uh, the ding sound effect. And you can zoom in really, really close and you see where that ding starts. You can kind of move that back. There's a way to move this, the uh, sound differently, but right now for this, is, that's gonna be good. So let's look at that and see what that looks like. All right. All right, so that's cool. All right, so let's look at a couple of other ones that they have. So not only do they have uh, like subscribe kind of things, I'll show you this other subscribe one that I use sometimes also. Okay, so this Alicia Marie editing pack, uh, she has some really cool ones that you could use. Let's see. So this is the effect that I like, the actual click subscribe button. Also I like this social media, so let's let's do that one. This is kind of like a lower thirds. Alright, so we will drag that in here as well, put the actual right after that. Alright, so now we have our green screens. Now you can see that it's not really in the space that I would like it to. So let's go over here to effects. Click on it again. We'll scale it up to where it fills the whole screen. We'll go get our ultra key. We'll drag it and drop it. We'll get our dropper. Boom and it's out. Now what you want to do with this is. Let's see get it right there we'll go to file we'll go to new legacy title okay let me drag this over here so you can see it and we will type in our handle so Instagram is at T J L zero V three L A D Y all right, now you can see, you kind of can't see that, so I'll add a shadow. I'll make it a little bit darker, a lot darker. <laughs> and once I do that, it'll get, it'll get darker. And we'll all right, and then we'll put our Twitter handle here at life. Scope blog. If you haven't followed me yet on either Twitter or Instagram or both, go ahead and do that now. <laughs> All right, so we have both of those there. So now they're saved down here in our timeline. We can just drag them here. And I'm going to have a more in depth um, editing tutorial on Premiere Pro because there's so many different things that you can do with uh, Premiere Pro. So let's see, I wanna animate these a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll drag them past this point and I put opacity, I always do a scale in the position. Even if you don't wanna move them, go ahead and click those three. And what we'll do is we'll go back to the beginning and we'll revert them all. Oops, that's not what I wanna do. See, I'll take the opacity down. Okay. And you see how they just kind of appear there? Now, another thing you can do is you can ease this in and it'll make the transition a little bit smoother.
All right, now this is where you want them to start disappearing. So what I'll do is kind of before that, we'll go ahead and put a keyframe for that. We'll move it over a couple of frames and we want it to be gone by here. Let me move that a little bit closer. We'll just drag that down to zero. All right, so let's look at our animation. Now, let's see, let's add one more. So that was the subscribe. I was going to show you all this other subscribe button that I use. So this one. Let's see, so I like this one because it has the click animation on it. So we'll leave it that big. We'll go ultra key, put it right here. We'll click on it, effects, click on it again, dropper, dropper. Uh, if you want to, you can move it down a little bit so it's not like right over your face or whatever it is. And I always like to add the mouse click. So I download this uh, mouse click from just Google. And as soon as you see that, click action happen that's when I add my mouse click and I don't know if you can hear this or not we'll try to turn it up yeah you heard the little click I don't know if you can hear it over me talking <laughs> let me mute this hear that that's cool all right so that's basically how you do it um, if you go through the playlist uh, I'm gonna show you on there there's gonna be a bunch of different ones they have they have uh, different animations uh, they have different transitions so look at this one this one's cool that's kind of a transition right there that's a transition that's kind of neat Now, of course, on that one, you have to do some uh, tracking. That's a cool one. That's neat for Instagram. So then they have titles you can use. This is one I use a lot. If you have different, um, different things you're going to be talking about, you want to use different titles and things. I like this one, too. And don't put them in different colors, that, you know, so you can have a variety. Uh, this is a cool title. There are some transitions here as well, I thought. Oh, there they go. So look at these transitions. So anyway, these work exactly the same transitions. What you would do is, let's see, I can show you. I'll show you really quick. All right. So let's say we're going to use this transition here. We'll start with the green screen. We'll play the transition. Okay. Then we'll stop it. So what you'll do is you'll split the the transition between the two. It doesn't have to necessarily be perfectly in the center. But get, you know, get as close as possible you can to the center. Sometimes you have to zoom in. Uh oh. Alright, that's too, zoomed in too much. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our ultra key. We'll take it down here. We'll move this to where our transition starts. We'll make it larger. So we'll have to go click on it. Effects controls. Click on it again. We will scale it up. And 
and we'll click on our keynote our color key you'll edit out the green so let's look at this all right so that's a cool transition you can use in between scenes or things like that and it's pretty simple you see it didn't take long to download these put them onto our um, timeline and edit them if you have any more questions just shoot me uh, a comment in the comment section below or go to my website www.tjlovelady.com and you can click on either ch the chat icon or you can go all the way down to the bottom of the page and type me in a question and I'll, I'll get it right to my cell phone uh thanks guys for watching yeah.